Hi, this is Caleb with Gear Report, and you're watching Show Us Your Humvee. In Show Us Your Humvee, we feed your Humvee fix with Humvees from around the world. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our weekly episodes. The purpose of this series is to give you a deeper look into cool Humvees than you would get from a few pictures on social media. To be featured in Show Us Your Humvee, we need at least the year and model of your Humvee, where your Humvee lives, and some background on what makes it cool, like if you know any of your Humvee's history, upgrades you've made, how you use it in a unique way, etc. Send that info to Show Us Your Humvee at GearReport.com, and I'll put it in a future episode of Show Us Your Humvee. Every year, part of the Gear Report team heads to Las Vegas for the shooting, hunting, and outdoor trade show. We call it SHOT Show, where all of the major outdoor brands show off their product. This year, our friends at Light Force partnered with Arms Unlimited to feature a former USMC helmet top Humvee in their booth, showing off various new LED light solutions. You can see that they got quite creative in their light placement. Here we see AJ from Gear Report and the Hummer Mods channel talking about a future project with the Light Force reps. It was a popular display that even attracted a certain MMA legend who was looking for lights for his LMTV. Back in North Carolina, Ken's gotten rather obsessive in his quest to recreate a Special Forces Humvee, complete with enough guns and ammo cans to warrant a suspension upgrade. I don't think I've ever seen a Humvee with more goodies bolted to it than this green monster. What kind of goodies, you ask? How about a working turret with 50 cal machine gun on an MK93 mount? Military radios, antennas, and intercom system. Smoke grenades. Kitted out vest ready to go. Light vehicle obscuration smoke system. Hood mounted pioneer tool kit. Armored driver's seat. IR light system. LED lights all around. A2 style brush guard. 38 inch super swamper tires. Commander's swing arm with machine gun. Swing arm mounts on both of the rear corners. Special Forces side rails in place of troop seats. Bed mounted spare tire carrier. Rock sliders. An abundance of water jugs. Special Forces rear bumper mounted up high with a storage box on top. You might recall that David's Humvee, featured in episode 7, had the same rear bumper, but it was mounted upside down as a low step and Ken has the attitude to go with the truck. Now we will drive across North Carolina to Vietnam. And now for something completely different, Humvees in an Iron Planet storage lot. If you've ever considered buying a Humvee from government auction, then this might be eye-opening. Here we see lots of M998 and M1038 Humvees at an off-base storage lot near Fort Bragg in Fayetteville, North Carolina. At this lot, most of the trucks did not run and were missing various components. It's not unusual for Humvees to need quite a lot of TLC to make them safe and roadworthy. If you recognize your Humvee in the lot here, please leave a comment. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. A big thanks to our patrons for helping us bring you more unbiased, hands-on reviews. If you want your Humvee to be featured in Show Us Your Humvee, then send me an email with landscape-oriented pictures or a link to download video of you doing cool stuff in your Humvee, and I'll put it here on Show Us Your Humvee. If you've already sent in pictures or video for Show Us Your Humvee, and you still haven't been featured, don't worry, you will be featured soon in the upcoming weeks. I'm just going through the videos in the order that they came in. Thank you very much, and we'll see you at the range. Thank you.